Why do I have to have my mortgage in place before I buy a home? Hey look, Martin Taggart Team Real Estate, and I'm gonna tell you something. It's super important that you have an idea of what you can afford before you go looking. In the market like we have today, where you've got a limited amount of inventory and interest rates are really low, you're gonna see a lot of people you're gonna compete with when you go home to home. If you wait until after you see a home to get your mortgage pre-qualification, what's likely gonna happen is the clock is ticking, other people are seeing the home who have their pre-qualifications and they're turning in offers. You're waiting for your lender who most of the time does not work on a Saturday or Sunday, which is when most homes get viewed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so by the time Monday rolls around, your opportunity to buy that dream home went out the window. Same as Monday Night Football, right? Right out the window. Look, in order to avoid this, get your pre-qualification letters done in advance. Make sure you talk to your lender in advance. If you can, work with a lender that's familiar with your real estate agent. Why? Because your real estate agent will have pull with that lender that you may not have, which makes it really difficult for you to work with an internet lender. Now listen, this is pro tip number one. An internet lender is an awesome choice when you're doing a refinance because there's no gun to anyone's head about a closing date. It doesn't need to happen at a specific time. An internet lender might offer a great rate, maybe, that's to be seen, but not for a purchase. Why? Because a purchase has a date certain by which that has to close. If it doesn't, that seller can go find another offer. Does it happen? You bet it does. At this point, we even have sellers that will say, we can accept any offer we want, Martin, but we're not interested in working with the following list of lenders because our experience, our friend's experience, has been that those lenders don't tend to meet their close dates very often. It's a real thing. So to sum all this up, make sure you get your pre-qualification letter done as early in the process as possible. It takes us to pro tip number two. Don't be frustrated. Listen, you ever go to a restaurant and order something and when it shows up on the table, it is beautiful. It's a thick, juicy steak, a nice salad, right? But there's too much there. And the fact of the matter is you're gonna take a whole bunch of it home in a box. And if you're like me, I don't like taking steak home in a box because it never reheats the same way. I'm not a french fry guy, but I hear french fries are the same kind of a thing. Well, buying a home is the exact same thing. If you go out and look at half million dollar homes and find out later that you can only afford a $250,000 home, that can be incredibly discouraging. The features and the amenities offered in a half million dollar home just usually are not there. They're almost never there in a $250,000 home. It's not that the homes are just physically smaller, it's that the goodies and the cool bells and whistles just aren't there. Listen. Do yourself a favor, don't be frustrated, get pre-qualified in advance. Martin Taggart, Team Real Estate, have an awesome day.